my kitchen this is Dudu's kitchen it's nice to have you back here today and I want to use this opportunity to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you all I wish us the best in year 2021 all our art desires shall be met and even our expectations shall be superseded by the grace of God 2021 is going to be a very wonderful year for all of us because the Lord will satisfy us with long life. He will show us his salvation. He will make everything perfect for us all in the mighty name of Jesus. So I thank you all for being part of this. And today is a wonderful day, Christmas Day. And what are we cooking? I decided to share this just for some people that might want to cook this. Uh, for the New Year celebration, so I decided to let everybody see what I'm making for Christmas for my family. And um, this is in Dudu's Kitchen's way. I'm making it using my own method. So I'll be cooking uh, the basmati rice with the shredded beef sauce. And also I have um, grilled fish. The fish is a rainbow mutton fish. And I'll be... Um, Grilling that and decorating that, garnishing that with my shrimps. So, this is the basmati rice. This is my onions. This is the scotch bonnet. This is my ginger all the way from Africa. This is my garlic all the way from China. This is um, the jalapeno pepper. This is the yellow bell pepper, the orange bell pepper, and also the red bell pepper. And I have here different colors of carrots they are really really sweet you can see this is orange this is yellow this is like um dark wine and this looks this is orange too so this is like burnt orange so i'll be using all these types of um, carrots and i have the baby carrots too that has been washed properly and cleaned so i'll be using that too i have my shrimps this is um wild wild cut uh shrimps i'll be using that you see my runner beans and i also have my spring onions and this is my shredded beef so i have my sunflower oil and i have my butter this is that my salted butter i mixed cilantro and parsley together i have my ginger i have my ground uh cinnamon i also have my garlic again and then here is my thyme. So you notice no curry, right? So I don't want to put curry. So I have my raw seasoning and also my salt. So that's what we're going to be using today. So let me just prep everything and then we get started. So it's now time to cook. I've prepped all the ingredients, the carrots, the green pea, beans, the spring onions, the onions, the peppers. I've prepped all of them. So it's now time to start cooking. So I have my shredded beef here. So I'll put salt. I'll put seasoning, the no chicken powder. I'm putting a little bit of salt. This is like a quarter of a, t a teaspoon. Or one fifth of a teaspoon. So I'll put in my no, the no powder. The no seasoning powder. So I'll put in that's a teaspoon. I'll put my garlic, my ginger. This is my garlic, my ginger, and my scotch bonnet. I blended everything. See? So I'm putting that inside. I'm rinsing it with a little bit of water. So that's that. Now I'll put my cinnamon powder, the ground cinnamon powder. I'm putting a little of that. And now I'll put my cilantro and parsley. I mix both together. Don't mind that. That's a lot of uh, Christmas 
which is coming in so please ignore i'm so sorry about it now i'm going to put my time remember i said i wasn't going to put curry in there so i'm going to mix this up now and leave it to boil for about 20 minutes So now I'll start frying the shrimps. So for my shrimps, what I did was I seasoned it. I put a little bit of salt and a little bit of uh, seasoning, the nor powder seasoning. So I put a little bit of that and I mixed it up. I allow it to sit for, um, this is like 20 minutes. So I believe my oil is hot enough for me to start frying the shrimps So now that I've finished frying my shrimps, see how they look? The next thing is for me to cook my basmati rice. So I have hot water in here. And then I'll go wash the rice and pour it in the hot water, the boiling water, and then I'll leave it to cook. So I'll show you how I'll do that soon. I've washed my rice, but I'll just let it sit in the water and then put salt and a little bit of Butter in the water. So I'm cooking the rice and I'm using the ratio one cup of rice to one and a half cups of water. Even though at the end of the day, I'll sieve out water, the excess water, I'll still sieve it out. So now I'll put salt in this and cover to boil. So I'm putting a teaspoon of salt in it and then I'll just cover it up. So it's time to look at the shredded beef don't worry I'll bring it close I'll bring it closer to you so you can see properly so you can see the shredded beef now I believe it's done so what I'll just do is, I'll just put a cube of Maggi. You know, I like cooking with both Maggi cube and also the non chicken seasoning. So the next thing is I'll pour in my carrots. And then close it for a minute so now 
now it's time to put the rice the water is boiled so i'll just put the rice in here So I'll leave the rice to boil for approximately 10 to 12 minutes. It doesn't take long for basmati rice to get cooked. Remember I put in water, my salted butter and salt in this. Let's close this. So the next thing I'll do is I'll pour my onions in this. And then I also pour in all the pepper. You see, this is the jalapeno. I decided to use jalapeno because it's a bit spicy. That's why I didn't go with the usual green bell pepper. So I'll just mix this up. So I'll add a little bit of water so that it can have a sauce of its own. I know that for some people when they cook the shredded beef, they usually put the corn flour uh, in it just to form a sauce. You know, but I won't do that. This is the way I like my shredded beef, and this is my own method. This is Judo's Kitchen's method. So, what I'll just do is add a little bit of water, and thereafter, I'll put a little bit of browning. That tastes really good. It smells really nice, really good. The garlic, the ginger, everything smells wonderful. Look at it, right? Looks good, yes. Some people use soy sauce, but I want to use brownie to mine. I do want to use the soy sauce because the sauce in here is well seasoned already and you know soy sauce has its own seasoning too so if i put it it's just gonna mess it up by making it too salty or you know the seasoning will be too much but with my brownie this is the jamaican choice brownie so that's We'll give it the color that I want and you see see the sauce I didn't have to put any 
corn flour in it to get the thickness that I want. So I'll just leave this for maybe two minutes because I don't want the vegetables to be soft. And then after two minutes, it is ready. I want to have a taste of it again to be sure everything is in order. Hmm, the sure tastes good and a bit spicy too. And I like this. Hmm, really lovely. My sauce is ready now, so what we are waiting on is the rice. And don't forget to put the rice, when you are boiling it, basmati rice, you put it on low heat. So look at the sauce, you see the thickness, can you see? So this is perfectly cooked. So I won't cover this too much. I'll just cover it slightly because I don't want it to get too tender. So the next thing I want to do is to saute my uh, baby carrots and the runner beans. So I have my frying pan on the stove. So the next thing is I'll put a little bit of butter, my salted butter, and then, then I'll put the vegetables. Let's put a little bit of water. Reduce the heat. So. Put the baby carrots. And also the runner bean. So I'll quickly see the water in the rice. Now I'll just put a little bit of soy sauce. Okay. And I'll leave for a few minutes. I want it to be very crunchy. I'm just using this to garnish my fish and shrimps. So this is done. You can see that I didn't need to put any salt or seasoning because of the soy sauce that I put in there already. So this is done now. I'll just switch it out. And you can also see the rice. You see the rice? Let me show you properly. You see the rice? You can see that's my basmati rice is ready i sieved the excess water and put it on the stove again for it to dry up properly so it's well dried up so food is ready and let me just show you my fish this is my fish that i uh grilled inside my oven and that's how it is. So nice. So I'm going to garnish this up with my rice and the sauce. And then we'll see the final look. So this is the final look of my dish. That's my shredded beef sauce. Doesn't this look good? See my basmati rice? It looks nice, right? Yes, it does. And this is my fish. See? That's my rainbow mutton fish with the shrimps and also the vegetables. See, everything looks nice. 
now i need to go call my family that food is ready for christmas merry christmas food is ready so look at it so nice right see the rice you see it doesn't look mushy or mushy see see the sauce wow this is beautiful and my rainbow mutton fish and the shrimps see the wild caught shrimps see it it looks really nice for the fish i know some people are asking how did you do it well um i marinated my fish overnight yesterday i put salt i put um, seasoning curry thyme garlic ginger inside the fish i also have a um, scotch bonnet pepper and so then this morning i brought it out and i grilled it in my oven using the low grill it came out this way look at it so beautiful yes so so i want to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel all over the world thank you so much i appreciate you all for those who have yet to subscribe please subscribe to my channel like share with friends and families we're gonna have more to come more to come so merry christmas everybody merry christmas and happy new year to you have a wonderful 2021 stay blessed and have a, the, a wonderful rest of the year bye thank you